Hello and welcome to the video. Today we're going to be looking at how to put together a time lapse in iMovie. So first thing you want to do is open a new project in iMovie and then you're going to import the images that you want to use. So you're going to click import, navigate to the files that you want and you can either click the first image in the sequence and the last image in the sequence using shift click or you can just select the folder that the files are in. And once you've done that, either of those, press import selected and it will process the files and import them all in. This might take a minute to import, just depending on the size and the quality of the image. Next, we're gonna go to preferences and we are gonna change the photo duration. And we're gonna change it to the minimum it can be, which is 0.1 seconds. And that'll just make sure that it comes up very quickly and after that we're going to change our photo placement to crop to fill and that will make sure that the photograph fits the frame nice and fully and we can change that crop later on but yes as you can see 0.1 seconds is the shortest you can have it next you want to drag and drop the selected images you want into your sequence and after a few moments it should bring everything in with a playtime of 0.1 seconds on each frame or each image. If you were to render this out now, it would give you basically a 10 FPS time lapse. Now, if you want to change the crop size or the crop to fit frame, you can do that here. Um, and you can just adjust that to fit whatever you would like. And if you want to affect those changes on all the images, you want to make sure that all the images in the sequence are selected. And of course, to confirm any alterations you make, just press the little tick in the top right. So if we were to play this back now, we're essentially getting a 10 FPS time lapse. And really we wanna be in the 30 frames a second. So we need to somehow speed this up. The way that we're gonna do this is we're gonna go here and we're gonna go file and we're gonna export it. And we're gonna export a video. And once we've saved that and it's rendered off, we're then gonna bring it back in and speed up the footage. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna re-import that 10 frames a second time lapse that we've just made and we're gonna bring that back in. So we've imported that footage. Now we're gonna clear this timeline. So you can just click and Command A and press backspace and that will clear the timeline for you. Then once that's tidied up, you're ready to just drag and drop this uh, time lapse, you're ready to drag and drop this time lapse onto your sequence. There's a weird little extra image at the end that I'll have to trim out. <laughs> I'm not sure how that ended up in there, but we'll drop that in and just trim that image off. Um, so it seems to seems to have come together nicely. It plays back well. And now what we need to do is we need to go and press this little wheel in the top right hand corner. And we're gonna change the speed to custom and 300%. So that is gonna times that playback speed by three. So it's gonna be that 10 frames a second time lapse that you had is now gonna be a 30 frames a second time lapse. And if you wanna speed it up even more, you can change it to 600, change it to whatever, whatever speed you like. But if you want something nice and smooth, I definitely recommend going more than 240%, which would give you that two point times 2.4, which would be 24 frames a second. So yeah, for me, I'd make sure that you're in that 300% upwards uh, margin for changing that playback speed and making it really, really smooth. So uh, if you found this helpful, enjoyable, and all that goodness, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. If you've got any questions, please drop them below. I know that this workflow isn't as smooth as Premiere is, as that gives you an option to just import an image sequence, and it will make a time lapse for you there and then. I know this is a little bit messy, but at the end of the day, it gets the job done and no one on the other end is going to know that you've done this unless you tell them. So it's a little messy, but it does work. So yeah, if you've enjoyed this or found it helpful, please feel free to drop a comment, a like, or subscribe. Uh, for now, I've been Jensen. Thank you so much for stopping by.